the Rhino Linux 2025.3 desktop environment, Ubuntu-based, with new KDE options. This snapshot introduces major updates including the RPK2 Package Manager, a new KDE Plasma 6 Unicorn Desktop UBXI KDE, and UB Ports Sponsorship. Rhino Linux 2025.3, the latest snapshot of this Ubuntu-derived rolling release distribution, has just been released. This version includes several big changes. A complete rewrite of its package manager, RPK2, now built on Nushal, and an official KDE Plasma 6 Unicorn desktop option called UBXI KDE. The team also announced that Rhino Linux is now officially sponsored by the UB Ports Foundation, the maintainers of Ubuntu Touch, and the Lumiri desktop. For existing users, upgrading is simple. Just run backquote RPK update dash Y backquote to move to 2025.3. RPK2, the new Nushal based package manager. Rhino Linux has fully transitioned to RPK2 asterisk in this release. RPK2 is a complete rewrite of the old Rhino package tool, now implemented in the modern Nushal language. It replaces the previous package manager and offers a cleaner, more powerful command line interface. For example, RPK2 presents package lists in nicely formatted tables and adds new flags and commands for convenience. Notable features include a backquote, description backquote, or backquote, D backquote, flag to show a package's description, a new backquote rhino package sync backquote command to update repository data without installing anything, and auto select behavior when only one package matches a query. Many common commands now have single letter aliases e.g. backquote install backquote right pointing arrow backquote i backquote and classic snap packages and packstall installed packages are handled more intuitively. In short, RPK2 makes package management faster and easier. The developers recommend checking out the updated Rhino package wiki or running backquote RPK help backquote for the full list of new commands and shortcuts. UBXIKDE Desktop Plasma 6 Figure The new KDE-based UBXI Unicorn Desktop in Rhino Linux built on Plasma 6. The UBXI project ports Rhino's Unicorn theme and workflow to KDE. In addition to the core system updates, 2025.3 introduces an official KDE Plasma 6 edition asterisk of Rhino's custom Unicorn desktop. The Unicorn desktop is the distro's default XFCE-based interface. Under the UBXI, Unicorn Beyond XFCE initiative project, the developers have been porting the Unicorn theming and workflow to other environments. With 2025.3, They've released the Times UBXI KDE Desktop Dash A Plasma 6 Base Session that brings the full Unicorn experience to KDE, including the same color scheme, layout, and icon set. Users can install it on any Rhino system via Packstall. For example, running backquote RPK install UBXI KDE desktop dash git backquote will set up the KDE Unicorn desktop. Looking ahead, the team plans to offer official ISO images preloaded with UBX IKDE by the end of 2025, alongside the existing XFCE Unicorn images. Packstall improvements. Packstall Rhino's AUR-like package installer saw several enhancements in the move from version 6.2 to 6.3. Key new features include support for an environment variable backquote P-A-C-S-T-A-L-L-T M-P-D-I-R backquote so users can specify a custom temporary build directory. 
This helps on devices where backquote slash TMP backquote might run out of space. A backquote lu backquote or backquote list upgrades backquote flag to preview available package upgrades without applying them. A backquote m backquote or backquote mark backquote command to hold slash unhold packages, preventing specified packages from being upgraded. Introduction of an internal backquote kver backquote variable and a backquote limit kver backquote pack script option, which let packages declare compatible kernel versions and block builds on incompatible kernels. These additions make Packstall more flexible and user-friendly. As always, many bugs were also fixed. See the Packstall release notes for details. Other system updates. In addition to the above, 2025.3 ships with updated system components and defaults. Linux kernel upgrades. Asterisk, the generic x86-64 images now use Linux kernel 6.1-5.4. Pine 64, ARM 64, images use the 6.9.0 inches Ocpine kernel. Raspberry Pi images use 6.1-4.0 Raspi. Application changes, asterisk. The former backquote Celeste Bin backquote music player has been replaced by the backquote R clone browser, backquote file browser in base installations. Firefox on ARM64. Asterisk. All ARM64 images now ship with the official Mozilla provided backquote Firefox bin, backquote package, instead of a distribution build. These tweaks help bring Rhino Linux up to date with current kernels and software releases, UB ports, sponsorship, and future outlook. A major announcement with 2025.3 is that Rhino Linux is now officially sponsored by the UB Ports Foundation. UB Ports maintains Ubuntu Touch and Lomiri, the convergence desktop used on Ubuntu phones. Under this partnership, Rhino Linux will contribute code upstream to the Lomiri project, including its ongoing transition to Qt6. Significantly, starting in the next release, 2025.4, Lomiri will replace the existing Unicorn mobile interface on all Pine64 devices. In other words, Rhino on Pine devices will use the same Lomiri desktop as Ubuntu Touch. The developers describe Rhino Linux on Pine64 as a rolling release counterpart to Ubuntu Touch. Whereas Ubuntu Touch is a read-only LTS-based system with periodic updates, Rhino Linux is a fully mutable rolling distro using the development branch. This collaboration is intended to strengthen the mobile Linux ecosystem, giving Rhino users a more integrated experience on Pine64 hardware and helping UB ports improve Lomiri for all users. Many thanks to the Rhino Linux team for these updates and to the UB Ports Foundation for their support. For more details and downloads, see the official Rhino Linux announcement and the project's website. Happy rolling with Rhino Linux 2025.3!